Hello dear students. In a series of lectures, let us see how to prepare for your examinations. In this video, we will see histology, theory as well as practicals. What are the misconceptions of most of the students? There is no need to practice diagrams. I can just see, see the diagrams and draw them directly in exam paper. No practice is needed. Or it is okay if I just omit the diagrams and write only the theory parts, I will get marks. So these are some misconceptions that you have to first give up. Now, what are the tips? Preparation is the key. The whole year through, whatever you are reading, it is very important. Practice is very, very important. Practice the diagrams. Remember, it takes a lot of time when you draw the diagrams for the first time in your exam. Don't do that. Presentation. Whenever you are writing your answer, make it a point that your diagram is beside your answer. So you write, looking at your diagrams, it becomes a perfect histology answer. What will you do on the day of the exam? Reach the exam hall in time. May it be theory or practical. Carry all your material with you. The HND pencil, especially for the histology. You will also need lead pencils. Now, when you get the question paper, read the question paper thoroughly. Why? Because you have to choose the questions. When you're choosing the histology question, see that it is not a very lengthy answer and you will be able to complete it within the scheduled time. For example, suppose you are writing a long answer question which is which will take more of your time you select a short answer question which will be very brief to the point and which will require less amount of time so select the questions and manage your time today let us start with the histology answers now how will you write the histology answers for example you have to write all histology answers in the form of a short answer question. So suppose you want to write about epithelium. Take for example, transitional epithelium. So just think and fit your answer in the same format. Introduction, what will you write in the introduction? May it be definition, the classification, for example, transitional epithelium, it is a stratified epithelium. It is, uh, what is the speciality? Okay, so this will be an introduction. The microscopic appearance is the very important part for histology, wherein you will write the key features of that particular answer. And where it is located, the functions, if there are any specific, and the applied anatomy. Now, always remember when you are writing the microscopic appearance, you don't forget to mention the key features which are concerned to that particular organ or that particular slide. So I have made this diagram of transitional epithelium to give you an example. Let us see whether it fits in the same pattern. So what things I will write in my answer, I will make the diagram first. Now remember for transitional epithelium, the diagram should be uh, two one in the relaxed state and the other in the stretched. So in introduction, you will write what is the epithelium name, its classification in the stratified epithelium. What are the microscopic features? Now in this, you know that we have to describe the basement membrane, the cells which lie on the basement membrane, so what you are doing actually is you are doing describing the diagram that you have made. So instead of writing here, if time is short, you can just write here one number. Here you can write two. Here you can write three. And the same thing you can describe here. The first is the basement membrane. And you will describe it. Second is the, the basal cells are columnar in shape. Then you will write the middle layer is pear shape and everything is there in the diagram. Then the next point will be the function. 
and if you know any applied anatomy you can include even if it is histology this will add more weightage to your answer now let us see whether this ap is applicable to every slide for general histology now take for example skeletal muscle so you will make a diagram first of the skeletal muscle because that is the key feature so long fibers which are unbranched with peripheral nuclei so i am just making a representative diagram for you to understand and suppose skeletal muscle is asked vaguely not specified whether it is a ts or ls that time you will draw have to draw the diagram of both ls longitudinal section as well as the transverse section so this is what is expected now how will you fit in that same format introduction what it is it is a voluntary it is a striated etc etc then microscopic features so you will describe all these things and then you will write location so it is attached to the skeleton of the body the functions and the applied now similarly you can apply it to any of the other hyaline cartilage draw the diagram describe it now when you are writing the microscopic features for hyaline cartilage suppose you will label your diagram as 1 2 3 4 in which you will write the perichondrium is first then you go inside then there is a territorial and interterritorial matrix then there are cartilage ness so that those things are the key features for hyaline cartilage which you should not forget to mention then the location the functions and the applied anatomy similarly for bone every histology slide of general histology you can fit in the same format and you can present your answer properly then there is another part of histology Uh, that is general histology which the students are little bit afraid of that is the lymphatic system i don't know why but you are not so comfortable with the lymphatic system let us see what are the slides so first is the lymph node the second is the spleen the third is the thymus and last is the palatine tonsil so when you are preparing these four slides it is very important to focus what are the common features and what are the differences so for as it is of lymphoid system the lymphatic nodules or the follicles will the com will be the common feature the differences you should know whether there is capsule whether so when you are writing the answer the format will be same so first point will be again introduction what it is what type of organ it is where it is located this you can write in introduction second will be the capsule now there are differences in these four organs where wherein capsule may be present or absent that you have to stress then you come to the so all this after introduction there will be microscopic picture in this there is first point will be the capsule the second point will be the lymphatic nodules the third point will be key features specific to that organ suppose there is it is spleen then you will write about red pulp white pulp lymph node you will write about cortex paracortex medulla thymus you will write about the arrangement of the epithelial reticular cells and the t lymphocytes then other peculiarities if they are there you can include the next point will be what is the function and if location is different then you can write the location and the last point will be applied for example if there is lymph node then you can write lymphadenitis if it is spleen then you can write some applied of spleen now i have made this remember the diagram of lymphoid system takes little time and students are very 
much afraid to draw the diagram. I don't know why. Now this is simple diagram. You can draw such a diagram for lymph node. Now we can make a similar diagram to show spleen. Now, when you are drawing spleen, you just make the capsule. Remember the capsule in the spleen shows smooth muscle cells. I'm not going to go in the detail. Then there are the white pulp and the red pulp. How to draw this? So see the time required to draw the diagram. If you are thorough with the diagram, it becomes very easy to draw. Now, as I am talking, I'm making this diagram of the spleen. So these are two white pulps and in between there are blood vessels, some cells, macrophages, some red blood cells, RBCs. Also there are some lymphocytes. So there will be some nuclei in between. And you know that there is a, in the white pulp, there is, so these are called the pals. White pulp is nothing but pals, periarteriolar lymphatic sheath. So this is the arteriole. So, this much diagram, if you can do within no, uh, within your limited time, it is sufficient and give correct labels. So this is about general histology. In the next video, we will continue with the systemic histology. Until then, bye-bye and prepare well for your exams.